What's up everybody? Hope everybody's doing good. Hope everybody's feeling blessed. Hope you're having a good morning. It is morning for me. Don't know what time it is for you. But today we have somewhat of an action packed episode. Got a lot of things to do. First of all, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. For those of you who are new and have not seen any of my videos or seen anything that I've been doing, I bought a 2005 Honda CRV and I bought this car to give it away. But I bought it with, you know, I had some issues and I have to do some work to it, maintenance and stuff. So, so far, what I've done is change all four shocks all four springs we did control arms bushing valve cover gasket spark plug i'm having some issues with the o2 sensor but i'll get into that in just a second so i bought this car to fix it and to give it away to somebody that is dear to my heart check the previous videos and see the process of how we got to where we at now oh yeah and i didn't even mention i put rims and tires made it look different and this morning we mounted this bad boy now it looks really cool um, now we're here today when i bought this car the previous owner told me that the catalytic converter was stolen and that when they stole the catalytic converter they chopped off the 202 sensors which were attached to the catalytic converter and they took it away when i bought the car he had already ordered two o2 sensors i installed them and the car still gave me an o2 sensor code so then i had a mechanic come and look at it and then he tested it and told me that, I, that one of the old two sensors was wrong and that's the one i was getting the code for so i went and he told me to he gave me a part number i ordered the sensor he told me to order i put it on and this time i get another code which has to do with the second o2 sensor so i went and i bought the second o2 sensor matching brand of the first o2 sensor checking the light comes back on now i got two codes which are different from the other two codes that came out so now i paid another mechanic he said that possibly it could be the ecu got fried when they cut it or something so i ordered an ecu i'm waiting for it to see if maybe it's the ecu i even ordered another o2 sensor because he said either the ecu or possibly buy an oem o2 sensor which is very expensive and it's really like frustrating like but we're gonna have one special guest and possibly two special guests today we're gonna have mr handy manny himself we're gonna tackle this car together we're gonna detail it we're gonna compound it we're gonna detail the interior we're gonna clean the living daylight out of this car also i have a trunk full of goodies i bought some stuff that i'm not gonna be able to install here today because i'm not a professional but we are gonna try to do the headlights i'm gonna try to actually straighten that out myself i'm gonna try to see this this is not a line you see there's a gap this some issue going on there but i'm gonna quit yapping i feel i've been yapping i'm gonna get to work and wait for my guest the second guest might be a cameraman from later he was from a previous video my brother today is a rainy day god has let the rain stop for a little while and hopefully it does not start raining until we're done so to start off this party i'm gonna do the easiest thing first we're gonna do some of this this is super easy You see that? That side is straight. This is down. It looks like it's possibly slapped there, smacked here. But what worries me a little bit is this right here. Like, see these? I guess got to meet up here. They're not bolted. But let's get to it. Uh. to order more parts nice top of the fact that the leds were wrong the headlights are in but we need to order more parts there's two brackets that we need on this side to mount that headlight but you guys have a glimpse of the look that we're going for we straightened out some of the things so now the 
before when I was complaining about the bumper, straightened out way better than before. That's where we are right now. We have Mr. Manny. Go check out Mr. Manny. Manny, say hi to the camera, man. Hey, hey. How's everybody doing? Yeah, I'm gonna put the bumper back together, leave the headlights in, and then we're gonna tag team on the detailing. So I want to give you guys an update of where we at so far. We hit a few bumps in the road, but did the headlights and lined it up. Look, it, it looks a little, it still looks stupid, but like I said before, some brackets. Manny's about to pull out all the chemicals. <laughs> We're going to start buffing. He finished vacuuming inside and I put on the rack. We have the rack up top. Yo, he vacuumed the living daylights out of this car. Look at that. It's like, he just vacuumed it. We haven't even wiped anything down. So I just want to give you guys a quick look of what it looks like before we start cleaning and compounding. It looks fresh, fresh, fresh. Woo! With the rack though. Oh, oh. All right, so we're gonna get to it. We'll see you in a bit. Here, doing OT, it's dark, so I can't really show you the finished product because it's dark. But we have a little light. We're gonna finish what we gotta do tonight. And then I guess tomorrow morning, I'll give you guys a quick look. But right now you can't really see nothing. But I'll tell you something right now, it looks way better than before. It's so shiny. Can't really tell now, like I said. But yeah, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. We're gonna finish up. It is dark, can't really record really anything. And we only have one little light and black. I'll catch you guys tomorrow with the finished product. It's the next day here. So last night we pulled a late one. Then we finished around seven o'clock. It was really dark and it's crazy because it started raining. As soon as we finished, it started raining. It was pouring last night. Shout out to Manny. Yo, Manny put in work above and beyond yesterday and he's a real MVP but also he is a graphic designer he does freelance work and he's really handy he does a lot of random stuff you know like repair furniture and he has a really good eye for dec uh, decorating and color stuff 
whatever it is i'll put his information in my in the description below if you guys need any kind of graphic designing or any help with anything just reach out to him he's really good at what he does and i want to show you guys what it looks like after the work we did like the car looks amazing shiny shiny and we were able to put the rack on so yeah look you know it looks real good yeah like it came out amazing man this car has come a long way the paint is crazy like look at the mirror eh? a little dirty but that's like look at that it's, it needs a wipe but still look how clear you see me the car has come a long way we still have some issues man i'll be honest with you i'm getting a little flustered the, the check engine light can't get it to turn off going through all kinds of old two sensors every time somebody looks at it they tell me something else it's, it's getting a little frustrating but i'll deal with it i'm gonna handle this situation and get it fixed but thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed the video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe just do it help grow this channel hope you guys are blessed hope you enjoy the rest of your day god bless take care and peace out See, they're catching me.